He's my number one. He's my little guy. Oh. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Date, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. Uh, there's a guy up on the cliff. I can't quite get up there. And I also don't have the, the berry case. Oh, we don't need it. It's a Shuka berry. I think that reduces uh, damage from electricity or something like that. I should go back and get that purple one. So this is Vitalia City. I thought this place was supposed to be known for its video games, though. Yeah, I, I don't see many video games anywhere either. Except that nerd. <laughs> that nerd in the house. Our gym leader's a famous musician. I talked to this guy. God damn it. Please, please. Please no more. The door is locked. Why? Why is it locked? I go so shopping in Gaddock City occasionally. I have to take this winding trail in Vitalia Forest when I go there. That's too bad. Old guy, you're not going to teach me how to catch Pokemon? I thought for sure you would. Alright, I'm sobered up and back to my senses. Hey, is that a Pokedex? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. All you kids today just use the internet or something or other. Uh, let me give you some advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. If you don't know how to catch a Pokemon, you should look that up. <laughs> you don't know how to do it? Well, go figure it out. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and level up some of my Pokemon on Route 2, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch a new Pokemon out here. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Is that, uh, is that Cliff guy over here? Oh, there's a, a potion sitting in a box. It looks like a Pokeball, but it's a box. It's a Pokebox. Wait, wait, wait. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What the fuck is that? Nauseon. Okay. Well, get out there, Kim. Let's fucking make this thing pay for crossing us. It knows Tackle, which doesn't tell me much about it. Nausea? I'm gonna guess Poison type. But, um, yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> It's, it's like a brand new experience. It's all fucking... Yeah. It's all strange. It's all alien to me. And it looks like an alien. I'ma call it Gremlin. Gremlin. Like a, a lady's name, you know? With an E at the end. Anyways, I caught it. Hooray, level 2 Pokemon. Wonderful. Nauseon's data was added to the Pokedex. Rough terrain Pokemon. Sick Pokemon. If someone touches Nauseon's skin, they will become sick. It roams cities at night, spreading disease. Oh! That's why you get sick when you live in a city. It's not because of all the other people around. It's because of Nauseons. Nauseons live in the cities! Uh, Grem... Lean. That's... that's fun. I guess it reminds me of Charlene or something like that. Just because it's a girl. If it was a boy, I'd name it Gremlin. Like a normal human being. Hmm. I'm looking not too not too hot already. This is not gonna be good if this is a battle. Hey you! Yep. Bet you never seen something like my Mei Mei. <laughs> that Mei Mei's fucking dank, bro. The dankest Mei Mei I've ever seen. Last Laney wants to battle. Sent out Mei Mei. Oh, it is a Mei Mei. I guess. <laughs> it looks like something. Something I've never seen before. Oh my god, it's strong too. We are gonna need to switch out immediately. Kim, come back. Decker, take care of this fucking thing. I'm gonna resist these normal type attacks. Alright, here we go. It's not very effective. Sucker, eat some horn attack. Uh, that does pretty good damage. Horn attack seemed a lot stronger when I was using it on like Rhydon and stuff like that, but... Then again, I guess uh, my Pokemon are slightly, uh, slightly under-leveled at the moment. I should also probably switch the settings from uh, Switch to Set, so they don't tell you what the next Pokemon is, because I'm not going to fucking know what that means anyways. Unless I learn Kenjin. Like, I learned that, that a Kenjin is going to be like the, the flying one. Also, um, switching makes it easier to level up your Pokemon. If it was the set battle mode, then they would just immediately switch into Kenjin without informing me and uh, letting me switch. But since it's switch mode, I'm able to uh, go into Kim, get a little XP, and yeah, it makes leveling a whole lot easier. So I'm not going to change it. That was a long debate to, uh, to decide to not change anything. 
But sometimes you just gotta talk these things out, you know? You just gotta figure out what you wanna do, what you want your life to be, that kind of stuff. And also, uh, making the switch got rid of the effects of Growl, so I'm able to three hit that Kenjin. Down it goes, Kim is growing up just a little bit. Look at that, but no bonuses to uh, speed or attack necessarily. Yeah, pretty low stats. That's alright. She gonna grow up. She gonna grow up real strong. Oh, Mei Mei, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. It is not sentient. My Mei Mei is so funny. It got featured on Nine Fag once. Huh. Fucking, fucking normies. Normies all over Nine Fag. Uh, I kind of want to go heal again, but I ain't gonna. Not yet. We'll push onwards. Oh, we're we're to the the forest already. I do think. There's a berry. Gotta get the berry. It's holding one Pecha Berry. Mmm. Pecha Berry, I think, is Poison Cure? Maybe? At least they didn't change the types of berries. That would be extremely confusing. And uh, I told myself that I was going to catch whatever I want, so I am going to try and catch this Kenjin. Just because uh, I want a full team as soon as possible. Peck, not effective! But as we are going into the forest, we're probably going to find lots of bug and grass types. And uh, Kenjin will prove his worth, I do hope. I wonder what level these things evolve at. That would be an interesting thing to know. But also a uh, part of the mystery. The mystery of Pokemon! There you go. Pokeball, go! Catch that fucking thing, huh? Bam. Yes. Wonderfully done. I really am glad that I got a rock type early on. It's always a helpful thing. People are using tackle and shit, and you're just like, eh, no problem. Decker leveled up. Kenjin's data was added to the Pokedex. Fried chick. Oh, it's fried chicken, I see. Kenjin uses its tasty odor to attract prey. Once the prey is near, it strikes with a powerful peck. Oh, well, let's name him Pecker. I'm sure uh, worms and things that birds would eat are not interested in fried chicken, so... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the worms here eat something different. Maybe they like fried chicken over here. I am gonna go heal my Pokemans up. Cause I don't wanna... I don't wanna get into the forest and then like get halfway through and then be like, Oh, I gotta run all the way back. Cause that's garbage. So let's get our, our free healthcare. We'll wait for two years as we die of liver cancer and our doctor's just like, eh. <laughs> it's free healthcare. What do you want? What do you want? What were you expecting, huh? Huh? I don't know. Healthcare? <laughs> okay, you're gonna get it. Just wait. Just wait a little longer. Everything's fine. Um, here we go. Over this way, up this way. Wah! And we're back again. Home again, home again. Jiggity jog. Score at may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked rhymes. Have you caught one already? Yes, I did! I feel bad for the sap leaf. Their bodies are so flammable that photosynthesizing for 10 minutes causes them to spontaneously combust and reduces them to ash. Aww. Ash like from Pokemon? Because that would be pretty cool to turn from a Pokemon to a human. <laughs> Trainer tips. The bag can be used to store items. When someone suggested it to us, we thought he was crazy. But he was right all along. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? Putting stuff in a bag, huh? You fucking maniacs. For poison, use antidote. Get it at Pokemart. Wow, what an advertisement. Are birds very important? Yes, they spread seeds and such. Thank you. Uh, wait, I changed my mind. Also, thank you. <laughs> Just thank you for your opinion. We really appreciate that. What the fuck is that thing? What is that over there? The birdhouse is aggressive. Um, what? Why you do this? Hello, birdhouse. I'm definitely gonna try and catch this thing. It's level five, but uh, let's see if if Kim can resist its its gusty ways. Oh my. Well, it should be fine. Even if Kim faints, uh, we could just go the Pokemon Resurrection, etc. And it, shit, that thing did get a critical hit. Well, it's using a uh, gust attack, so let's switch into Decker. I guess Decker's my number two. Douglas is number one just because he's got, uh, you know, that starter privilege kind of thing. Uh, he's going from the gusts to the tackles. I, I don't see how that's going to make much of a difference against my rock type. My rock type might! 
Yeah, go ahead and leer. Leer! You don't even look that scary, son. You got a big stupid wood nose or something like you've been telling lies like Pinocchio or whatever. Here. Here, get in this Pokeball. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, it appeared to be caught. Should I waste a bunch of Pokeballs trying to catch this thing? I guess, I guess so. It's, it's one of the things that sits on the map. It probably has a catch rate like a legendary or something. And maybe it'll evolve into something cool. Oh god. It's not gonna work. Man, fuck this. I already have a flying type anyways. You think I give a shit about you, birdhouse? I don't. I'll fucking horn attack you in the face. And yeah, my Pokemon are not going to be able to weather uh, these attacks so well. Decker was getting beat up by that fucking thing. Kim grew to level 5, hell yeah. Got a little extra speed on that level. Thank you so much. Decker is at level 6. Uh, we're doing so nice. Things are going great. I gotta level up my Nauseon though. He's still a Lobie, isn't he? Level 2? What the fuck is that? Alright, Gremlin, come to the front. I want that box. Oh, no! But there's another thing. Keck Roach. <laughs> Keck. The mighty Keck has joined us. Oh, yeah, Smog. This thing's definitely a poison type. I forgot to fucking check. Why would I forget that? Maybe if I poison that birdhouse, it would uh, have done something. Something different. I don't know. It's so, it's so hard playing through a game where you don't know what anything is. Yes. And at least we got a little poison on that thing. How's that, sucker? Sucker motherfucker! I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Why not? I'm sure I'll be able to buy some more of these things at some point, right? I could have bought the cheap ones too, but I think it's, it's a wise idea to... Just spend, spend a little extra, you know? You get the, the quality over quantity kind of shit. Ooh, we got I XP for catching it? Interesting. I didn't know that. That must be a change. Water's Edge Pokemon. The Keck Pokemon. <laughs> some people think all Keck Roaches look the same, but some of them are usually aunties and uncles. W what? <laughs> What's worse than ants in your pants? Uncles! <laughs> We'll give a nickname to Keck Roach. It's just gonna be Keck. He's not a frog, but he is mighty. He's gonna be so fucking mighty. Dane found one potion. And I don't want my Keck to faint. He's poisoned. We gotta fix him. We gotta fix him up because he's on the team now, right? Open this fucking pouch. Oh, when held by a Pokemon, we're not gonna have him hold it. Just eat this. Here you go. That's tasty, huh? You my friend now? Yeah, he likes that. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna uh, have multiples uh, on multiple Pokemon on the same route. It seems like a fun idea, especially because I don't know what all the Pokemon are. But it also uh, adds a, a bit of thrill when you only get one Pokemon and then you go, okay. I guess we've chosen a Keck Roach. Well, I already broke the rule by catching Pecker, so... Whatever, it be what it be. I'll catch as many Pokemons as I like. Professor Stomp asked me to fill up this Pokedex, and that's what I'm gonna fucking do, okay? Poison. Impish Nature, I don't know what that does. Liquid Ooze, Draining causes injury. Okay, so if we come across something with Absorb, I'll be sure to use that. There's Douglas, Decker, Kim, Pecker, Shed Skin. Oh, Pecker has shed skin because he has a delicious crispy skin that'll bite off if it becomes poison. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. And then Keck, swarm ups bug moves in a pinch. Hmm. Oh, it shows you what the natures do. Careful nature increases special attack, decreases special defense. I see what's happening here. Hmm. Well... I think Keck is going to be useful. He's a dark and bug type, so we shall see. We shall see what he is able to do. Uh, but first I'm going to use Pecker because I expect to find some more bug types over here, especially from this fucking bug catcher. Your bug catcher? Welcome to Vitalia Woods. I'll be your guide. Oh, God. I don't know you. Please stay away from me. Hello, my name's Rick. Oh, great. 
here comes the curry crawl. This is that uh, electric thing. It definitely looks electrical. So I'm going to switch out. Fuck. Who can I switch into? Mmm. Uh. Well. I guess Kim's a fine choice. Her defenses aren't that great though, so we need to be careful. Good, he went for tackle instead of uh, thundery doom. Tackle's just fine. My tackle's stronger because I got that same type of attack bonus. Plus 50% to my tackle attack. And here comes a string shot. I would like to catch one of those as well, but if you had to pick a thunder bug or a dark bug, which would you pick? I think I picked Keck Roach just because it has Keck in his name. Kekistani. All right, 16 points for everybody. Spread that shit around. Larvades. Maybe this is the electrical one. I can't quite recall how things work. Well, let's go into Gremlin. Maybe we'll be able to poison this thing and uh, watch it whittle away. Does it look more electrical? Mm, I, I guess, maybe? Ooh, and he used the absorb on my liquid ooze Pokemon, so that's going to be nice. Do a little bit of damage to him. It sucked up the liquid ooze. Ha ha ha. My smog attack also missed. Oh, there's the Thundershock. Good thing I didn't switch into uh, my flying types. But the Thundershock does pretty good damage against Gremlin. I think mostly because uh, Gremlin is pretty low level. Well, let's go into... I, I want to go into Pecker or Douglas, but... I'm trying to get these levels all evened out as well. This is the the strange part about how I play. <laughs> On the back of his body it says Top Keck. He is the Top Keck. Here, astonish that thing. Oh, but I'm too slow. Especially too slow after the string shot. This is not good. This Larvades is uh, giving me more trouble than I would like. Alright, we'll just go into Douglas. He's level 5. I need to get all my Pokemon up to like level 8. Catch them up with Douglas, which uh, I'll probably do between this episode and the next. So things will be things will be nice and even. I'm not gonna bother with vine whipping this thing because it's pretty obvious that it's a bug type, probably bug and thunder. That makes me wonder what the other type was. Pure bug type? Who knows? You can do nothing to Douglas. Absorb thunder shock. Ha ha! He laughs at you. He tackles you. You are dead now. Wonderful. Excellently done. All right. Thank you, Bug Catcher Rick. Stop bugging me. I, I thought you were my guide. I wanted to ask you a question. Why do you suck so bad? <laughs> Top Keck. Top Keck. <laughs> oh my. Let's uh, see if there's any goodies in this grass here. It doesn't seem so. So I'll just uh, cruise over this way. I'm looking for some treats. Y'all got some fucking treats for me or what? There's a Larvades. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna run away. Can't escape. Oh god, here comes the Thundershock. Shit! Glad it's not a Nuzlocke. <laughs> that is, uh, for Sherzies. But yeah, that thing is, uh, faster than I thought, meaner than I thought. Oh, there's some goodies over there. Let's go over there and get the goodies. Oh shit. These fucking things. Come on, come on, bro. What is this shit about? All my Pokemon at half health already? We just got started in this forest. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm not going to go back until I start to uh, level up all my Pokemans and whatnot. I know Douglas can hold the team together. He's my number one. He's my little guy. Oh, he's got a sprout sticking out of his ass, but that's okay. We're not going to judge him for that, you know? He was probably born this way. I was born this way! <laughs> a little more Absorb. Absorb and Thundershock not doing shit to Douglas. Douglas number one. Doug funny. You think it's funny now, bitch? <laughs> Alright, good job. Wonderful job. Uh, we also got a trainer here, it looks like. Hey, you. You look weak. Prepare to lose. You look weak? Bro, I lift. <laughs> Hey, Youngster Doug. Wow, you got the same name. That's so cool. That's super cool, bro. He's got a score wrap. Let's see what Peck does against it. Oh, that tackle. <laughs> Peck does nothing. Uh, score wrap just fell on his face. Uh, I could bring out my score wrap as well. Hmm. 
let's see what it do. It's probably gonna be about the same. They're going to be tied with each other. Oh my god. We're gonna lose out on this one too. Alright, Decker, get in there. I'm pretty glad that we're uh, not doing the Nuzlocke thing because I like my fried chicken Pokemon. I said in the last episode that it was kind of ugly, but I take it all back. <laughs> it's grown on me already. Once I figured out that it was fried chicken and not just a poop bird, fucking shit bird, <laughs> it, uh, I started to like it a lot more. You know, I think that's how a lot of Pokemon are. Once you find out a bit more about it, you're like, oh, he's a friend. He's a good friend. All right, there we go. Decker's leveling up nice. It's just so easy to level up the rock types. And Donkey P. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand. Let's uh, switch Keck in here. See what it do. And try and guess what type this fucking thing is. Donkey P. Probably a flying type. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my bug out. And uh, yeah, hopefully Douglas can weather a couple of hits. If it is a flying type. Because uh, I need to use a potion. Oh, he used mirror move. That's fine. Keep on mirror moving me, bro. We'll have a tackle attack. Oh, he's uh, part poison, I think. Got that smog attack, which is going to be super effective. And Douglas is poison. Fuck! That's not good. Oh, please live, little friend. Alright. I'm going to prepare for the worst. Get my potion out and uh, feed it to Decker. There we go, 18 out of 20 points used for that. So uh, that's pretty nice. This is pretty nice. So this thing has mirror move, smog, sand attack. Well, let's uh, switch into Decker. Hopefully he doesn't get a sand attack. I'd like if you just did mirror move as I was switching again, please. That would be most gracious of you. And it's Peck. So he's got four moves already at level six. That thing's pretty cool. I like Dunky P. <laughs> Oh, if I find one, I'm going to catch it. It's kind of weird, too. The art isn't great on these Fakemons, but, um, yeah, it's pretty enjoyable, I think. Decker was also poisoned. Oh, man. I am hurting for certain. I should have bought some antidotes. I knew it. I knew it in my heart. They always do this to you in the early game. They're like, guess what? D.O.T. D.O.T. on everyone. Well... I guess poison's better than burning. Burning would uh, also reduce my attack, which is uh, something that Decker uses quite a lot of with all these horn attacks and shit. I did get sand attacked, but I seem to be... Oh, <laughs> of course, right as I say, I seem to still be hitting my, my horn attacks I, I start missing. Wonderful. Excellent work. 10 out of 10. Best. All right, there you go. Wonderful. He hit me with another sand attack, but that horn attack came out with some fury. And we're about to level Decker. Ket grew to level 4. Wonderful! And he's pretty speedy. He's a speedy little fella. That was unfair. You cheated. I didn't. I got poisoned to shit. I'm pretty sure you cheated. I just don't know how. Well, I got like Game Shark codes or whatever. Oh, and my Pokemon aren't taking uh, DOT damage while walking. So that's pretty nice. Curry Crawl, I'm tempted to catch this thing just to see uh, what types it has. I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna replace Keck Roach. Oh my god. Douglas is gonna go down. That's okay. Oh, he's not! He's not, I don't think. The poison's not gonna get him quite because it does like 10%, right? Is that right? Is it more than that? Alright, cool. <laughs> We're doing so awesome! Here, have some Pokeball. I want to know what types you have, Mr. Curry Crawl. I should probably catch Larvades as well. I mean, yeah, I want to find out about all these fucking Pokemon. It's a whole new world! Nobody's probably seen these Pokemon unless you watched a Clover playthrough. And if you did, then uh, I hope that mine's better. <laughs> Curry Crawl's dad is added to the Pokedex! A uh, social bug Pokemon, the leader of a group of curry crawl, is always the one with the best jokes. Oh, all right. You know who has the best jokes? Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, we are so glad that you are back in the fucking game. I think that's how you spell it. I'm not really sure. Doesn't matter. Placed in box one. Welcome to the team. 
The fucking team! There's a Pokeball. I'm gonna get lost in these woods. Maybe I could find my way through with relative ease, hmm? Wouldn't that be nice? I think I'm gonna be forced to go back and uh, heal and train my Pokemans. But I would really like to uh, get through the forest. Oh shit. Can I show you my funny bugs? Uh, what? <laughs> Do you want to see my wiggle worm? N no? <laughs> There's the Keck Roach. We don't have a revive, so I can't use, um... I can't use Pecker at the moment. Everybody's down to fucking half health or poisoned. This is just so bad. It's not a good situation to be in. I might be in for a quick trip back to the Pokemart. And, uh... That's also a good reason that I'm I'm happy it's not a Nuzlocke, because that would be fucked. Fucked as hell. Yeah, everything's not going as good as I'd hoped. I should I should have not pushed it so hard, you know? Should have just been like, okay, we're low on health, go back. But that shit is so boring. I don't want to do that all the time. Alright, he defense curled, but I don't have anything to switch into. So we'll just keep uh, tackling, hoping for the crit. Come on, Kimmy. You can do it. It says P. P on that thing's hat. <laughs> Let's pee in his hat. I wonder what P stands for. Pokemon? <laughs> that would make good sense. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Maybe Douglas. Maybe Decker. I should have brought some fucking antidotes. I wouldn't be having any trouble if I had some antidote. And uh, I lose some HP on the switch. That's terrible. I do have one antidote, so I'm gonna give it to Douglas just so he can power us through this fight. Hopefully Decker's gonna live. And then, um, yeah, we can we can potion. Switch into uh, my friend, my friendly friend. And everything's gonna go just fine. Everything's gonna be awesome. I'll be able to get some experience. I'll be able to not die. Oh God. Yeah, I, I really thought I was in for a quick trip back to the, the Pokemon Center. He's he's fucking defense curling like a motherfucker, though. Oh, boy. It's going to take quite a few tackles to get through this thing, I think. Uh, but I don't think he has any bug moves either. So my grass type needn't worry. Oh, God. Here he goes. Defense won't go any higher, I don't think. So uh, we'll just whittle it down. One HP at a time. We'll do what needs to be done. How's that? How's this? Yeah, he's going for the tackles. No Astonish, thankfully. Um, but he is slower, it seems. So I don't think that he would be able to flinch me anyways. There's the Leer trying to drop my defense while his own is increased. But that shit ain't gonna happen. Critical hit, bitch! Get out of here, son! A little bit of XP for Douglas. Decker's gonna get that level up. Ah, uh, Decker learned Mud Slap. Hey, ground type move. Nice. Keck Roach again. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Gremlin just so uh, she can get a little bit of that experience. He'll probably get a free Defense Curl or Leer, but I'm confident that uh, Douglas can weather that. At least uh, I hope so. <laughs> we got a few potions left. We will be able to get through this fight, but um, it was unexpected. I will say that much. I need to level up my my, my funny bugs <laughs> in order to keep this uh, this boat, boat alive. You can't just catch a Pokemon and be like, he's good to go. You gotta fucking make him tough. That's what Professor Stump told me. His words rest always in my heart. And uh, he's dropped my defense and increased his just a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. Douglas got this shit in the bag. You've seen his might. You can't stop him. I probably should use a potion at some point. Now seems good. Now seems good. He's in the red. Go for it. Douglas is going to love me feeding him all these potions. Pokemons love when you use items on them, although I don't think any of the uh, starters need happiness to evolve. It's just nice to, to see him happy. You know, you see him uh, smiling, his pretty little smile, and then he also probably smiles from his brown eye too. <laughs> Oh, those are nice stats on Gremlin. Got some defense, special attack, special defense. 
probably going to grow up to be a, a special attacker, but it's extremely hard to tell when it's this early in the game. Well, we'll shift back into Gremlin, uh, hopefully get a little bit more levelies. No, that's not going to be enough. Splitting the uh, experience? Mm, she's not going to have enough. Let's try. Let's just try a little bit. Get that smog. Maybe we'll get some poison. Something lucky, huh? Are we lucky today? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, back into Douglas. I don't want Gremlin to faint. I shouldn't let any of my Pokemon faint, uh, honestly. Not just because uh, <laughs> I'm halfway between Nuzlocke and not. Usually even in uh, my personal games, I'm playing Nuzlocke rules. Because it just, it spices things up. It's a little more fun that way, you know what I mean? But oh well, it be what it be. Um, I don't want to do a Nuzlocke in a game where I I would be so close to failure constantly because I don't know what anything is. Hooray! That was a funny one. Well, yeah, I had fun too. The most fun part is when you pay me. Pay me, bitch! <laughs> Safari Tree holding one Tanga Berry. I don't know what that does, but thank you. Thank you so much. Anyways, friends, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center, avoid that birdhouse, uh, level up my Pokemons a little bit more, probably to level 8, something like that. And uh, hopefully you will join us for the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, friends. This has been Pokemon Clover. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I shall see you uh, the next time. All right. That's good. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> See you then, friends. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.